हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्न विद डॉक्टर शोभा निकम यू आर विद डॉक्टर शोभा निकम एंड टूडे आई टॉक अबाउट ट्रांसमिशन गेट और पास गेट सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विथ ट्रांसमिशन गेट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द सिग्नल सो स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ अ सिग्नल इज मेजर बाय हाउ क्लोजली इट अप्रोक्सिमेट्स एंड आइडियल वोल्टेज सोर्स इट मीन्स इफ माई वोल्टेज सोर्स इज फाइव वोल्ट सो इफ माई आउटपुट वोल्टेज इज क्लोज टू फाइव वोल्ट then i'll say my signal is strong signal so in general the stronger a signal what happens because of that the more current it can source or it can sink and the power supplies like vdd is source of strong one and ground or zero volts its source of r zero so in vlsi design or in circuit design we use p channel mosfet and n channel mosfet so n channel mosfet this is the symbol of n channel mosfet drain gate and source so when we use n channel mosfet it gives us strong value of zero and degraded or weak value of one and that is why when we design circuits using p mos and n mos we always connect n channel mosfet in pull down network because it gives a strong value of zero whereas when we use p channel mosfet in case of p channel mosfet it gives us strong value of one and degraded or weak value of zero so pmos gives us strong one nmos gives us strong value of zero so sometimes we call them these transistors as pass transistors but both of them are not perfect switches one gives us strong zero other gives us strong one but none of them are perfect switches so to get perfect switch or to get strong value of 0 as well as strong value of 1 we need a gate which can pass strong 0 and strong 1 so there comes a transmission gate so transmission gate is nothing but a parallel combination of p channel mosfet and n channel mosfet so this is the transmission gate so this is my p channel mosfet and this is my n channel mosfet and in this way the drain and source terminals are connected and here we can apply input and here we get the output so transmission gate is nothing but parallel combination of pmos and nmos and here we connect enable pin and here we connect enable bar so see n channel mosfet turns on only when it receives one at the gate terminal whereas p channel mosfet turns on when it receives zero so transmission gate here this nmos will turn on only if enable is equals to 1 so transmission gate turns on if enable is equals to 1 when enable is equals to 1 automatically enable bar will become 0 so both nmos and pmos both transistors will turn on when they will turn on they'll act as short circuit and whichever value is present at a will go to output b so i'll simply write the truth table for this transmission gate so see my enable and my output b b is my output so if enable is equals to 0 when enable is equals to 0 what will happen this nmos will receive 0 and it will remain off pmos will receive 1 and it will also remain off both of them will act as open circuit and because of this output will become high impedance no output when 
enable is equals to 1 then here nmos will turn on as well as pmos will also turn on both of them will turn on and signal will pass from input side to output side so output b is equals to a whichever value is present at a will come to output side then here you need to remember one thing that if a is equals to 0 if a is equals to 0 then nmos gives a strong value of 0 so signal will pass through this nmos whereas if a is equals to 1 it will pass through the p channel mosfet and that is why in both cases whichever input we have 0 or 1 our output is always strong 0 or strong 1 other thing is if you compare this behavior of our transmission gate this is similar to tri-state buffer sorry A, output B and here is our enable pin. So, when enable is equals to 1, the, this buffer will pass input to output side. So, we can say transmission gate acts as a tri-state buffer. I have prepared separate video for tri-state buffer. It's working the link is given in the description box. Please have a look. Okay. So this is how our transmission gate works. Use of transmission gate is it gives a strong value of 0 and strong value of 1. Another use of transmission gate is when we implement our circuit using transmission gate. Then less number of transistors are required for implementation of that circuit. Now let's see symbols of transmission gate. So very first symbol is draw triangle like this. So here is my input A. Here I will get my output B. And here is enable bar and here is my enable also symbol is like this here I'll connect A here I'll get B this is enable bar and here is my enable one more symbol is, so you can use any symbol for implementation of transmission gate. Enable bar with bubble of course and here is an enable input. One more symbol. Here is A, this is our output B, enable bar and here is enable. So for implementation of your circuit using transmission gate, out of these four symbols you can use any one symbol. Also, uh, I have prepared one more video related to implementation of 2 is to 1 multiplexer using transmission gate. The link is given in the description box. Please check it once. If you found this video useful, do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.